Okay, so we're back in the kitchen today and we're going to do a simple steak recipe. It's a poor man's steak. You can get any cut of steak and you can prepare it this way and it'll taste like it came out of a restaurant's kitchen. Alright, so let's jump into it. Alright, so we have a beef eye of round here. I'm going to cut this up into steaks. It costs about average $11 to $15 to buy this, so you can get quite a few steaks out of it and feed the family. It's, it's great. You're also going to need a measuring cup, beef cubes, parsley as always, paprika, soya, black pepper, and just a slice of onion. Alright, so let's get this started. First, let's cut our meat up. So once you have your steak cut up, let's take a quick look here. You're actually going to need a, a container to put these steaks in. Okay. So I'm going to grab a couple pieces here and just lie them flat. Okay, so after you cut up your steak, you get your measuring cup and you put a quarter cup of soya. Okay. So you got a quarter cup of soya in there. We're going to take our onion, just slice it down the middle. Or we're going to put it in our soya. We're going to take a beef cube, we're going to add this to the soya, we're going to take a half tablespoon paprika, half tablespoon of parsley, half teaspoon of pepper. Okay, so now that we have this, we're just going to add some water into it until we fill our cup. This is um, a two cup measuring cup. We're going to fill this up. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a stir. And then we're going to pop this in the microwave for about two minutes. I'm not sure if you can see that steam coming off there. Maybe. So now here we have our mix. And we're just going to pour it right over our steak. Alright, so once we have our sauce mixed, we've got to pour it all over our steak. We're going to let that soak. You've got to let it marinate for at least 24 hours for the best results. I mean, if you're in a rush and you want to eat it within two or three hours, that's fine too, I guess. But if you want the best results, you got to let it soak for 24 hours. So I'm going to put this lid on and we're going to pop it in the fridge. And tomorrow, we'll take it out and we'll throw it on the barbecue. Stay tuned for that. Um, we're here out of the barbecue now. Before you cook your steaks, you should take them out for an hour out of the fridge. Just let them sit on the counter for an hour. Just let them kind of get to room temperature before you barbecue. It's just better results. Yeah. Love that sizzle. So you want your barbecue on a medium heat. You're going to cook them on each side for 7 to 10 minutes, depending on how hot your barbecue is. Everyone's barbecue is different. I'm going to take them in the bottom and put them on the top burner here. And I'm just going to let it kind of roast in there for a little bit. Wait till the barbecue reaches at about 300 and let it stay there for about 15 minutes only. Uh, you don't want to let it stay too long because then your meat gets all dry. So you got to be sure that when you're cooking it, it's still a little bit pink so that when you put it on the top and it's roasting a little bit, you still get some of that tenderness in your meat, okay? All right, so I got the food plated. We're getting ready to eat. Take a look at my plate. Yeah. Until next time, uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make, but subscribe and we'll do something else in the kitchen, all right? Until then, ciao.